got two more days in this house and then I'm moving out. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, and calm down. Oh my goodness, I've still got quite a bit to do, chaps. Cupboard's looking like this now. Decimated, look at that. <laughs> Mostly that's bagged up already, but not really, you know. So, as you may remember from my last vlog, I got the news that I was moving last... What day was it? Friday night. Between a sound check and a gig and I was in West Wales and there was just nothing I could do and then I had another gig so I didn't actually get back till late on Saturday night and I didn't get the camera out then because it was panic stations frankly here's the spare bedroom this laundry's about dry and that's gonna go away and then I'm gonna pack the era bags everywhere the hallway is just like a bank of stuff Izzy's room is getting there she's still sleeping at the moment I'm getting a little collection of odds and ends that just don't fit anywhere, but I've got a big suitcase for them. I think that's where they're going to go. The office is looking like this now. We're going to skip the old mattress and that very old bed base as well. Really, that has seen better days. These are going to be a pain in the bum to pack. I don't know what we're doing with that. Here's my shelving. I even forgot that table was under there, under the typewriter and the sewing machine. Going on down, here we have the chaos that is the lounge. <laughs> it's just so much of it. On Sunday, after spending all day on my own, Izzy was at my dad's, I spent all day on my own packing and I had a bit of a moment where I started to feel really ashamed that I had accumulated so much stuff and let it get out of control. I promise I still need quite a lot of it. A considerable amount of it is home ed stuff and I might be home edding for up to another two years. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to see if that college pans out or not. It's been very beautiful weather for the last few days for packing up the entire house. It's a bit overcast today. Fortunately, today is the day that my parents are now getting involved. They're both coming up and they're due in about an hour, I think, and they're going to help me get stuck in now on what's left. And tomorrow, the very last day in this house, IB is coming, hopefully with his new van, to help to get stuff to the rubbish tip. It's a little bit later now. I forgot to mention, ta -da! I got rid of the cooker. It's pretty wrecked. The new people don't want it. I think they've already got one. And the new place I'm going to has a cooker. Yay! Anyway, this is the temporary facility. It is now about 12 o'clock. My parents have arrived. They've had a cup of tea and a chat and a sit down. And now we're all getting to work. Dad's gone to take the charity bags to the charity shop and Mum and Isabel are working as a team in Isabel's room. They're going to completely pack it all, hopefully, between the two of them. Isabel's been working on this for days and days and days and I think she's been getting a bit distracted with the tech, you know. It's my strong suspicion. I'm going to work on the loft. A lot of the stuff up here is already boxed, but it's not sealed, you know, could fall out, so boxed and bagged that is. So I'm just going to get to work on this lot now. This is the 115 update. Um, it's not really looking exactly as if much has happened, but it has, honestly. I've got rid of the stuff here. Well, I haven't got rid of it. I've packed it up properly and put it downstairs ready to go. This is just still looking like this, so a little bit better, but nowhere near finished, so I'm going to crack on. This is the 2.30 update, so I'm keeping on going. Every so often I get a big surge of feeling overwhelmed and panicked that it's just never going to get done, but I'm just keeping on telling myself, keep going, just keep going, focus on the task in front of you, keep going, keep going. So this is where we're at. I'm doing this at the moment, just um, covering over a box of archive stuff that's going to go into the loft. That's looking a bit clearer, look. Not much left. There's an antique rocking chair there. It belongs to a friend of mine. I've been storing it for him for years and forgot I had it, so perhaps I'll try and get that back to him at some point this year. He lives in Gloucester. It's looking like that. Still a mess. Izzy and my mum are still hard at work down there in Izzy's room. It's taken them longer to do Izzy's room than the whole house. <laughs> but they're making noises like people that are actually getting on with it and taking control. I'm going to get back to this now. when that happens it's awkward angle really while well, looking at the camera monitor
tape dispensers would have been so much better. They would have made this process faster. I'm trying to label the top and the sides if possible with the colour coding strips but I'm accepting now that if the last few aren't done, well, never mind. If we got the majority done, it will speed up the move day, won't it? So I found out from my estate agent today that there's going to be like a no man's land when we're outside with the van packed, waiting for the money to go through. And only when we get the say-so then from either sol the solicitor or the estate agent, either, doesn't matter which, only then can we exchange keys. Well, we've got to hand in the keys. And then head off to the other place and get the keys from there. <sighs> Five to three. I've almost cleared it. These are so grubby, I'm literally going to hoover them <laughs> before removing them from here. So I'm going to put the hoover around now. These just couple of bits I might wear between now and the move. Or if I don't, I'll just shove them in a bag at the last minute. I just wanted to leave something out for me to wear. And in the meantime, my dad is on catering duties. He's making me a pot noodle <laughs> to have in a minute when I've hoovered that. It should be done by the time I've hoovered that. Then I'm going to have a little break for food because I'm getting a bit <laughs> frazzled. 3.30, the pot noodle's been eaten and Dad's hoovering my cupboard for me. And you know what, if there was ever a day to throw out odd socks, today is it. What isn't paired is going in the bin. Look what Dad's just tossed out of the cupboard. He found it, I think it must have been under the carpet, was it? Yeah. yeah. What do you think it is? Right, answers in the comments below. Not the red thing, obviously, that's a bit off a hoover. Yeah, okay, yeah. The other thing. These are all going. I did pair some odd ones up just because, you know, they're kind of similar. They kind of work. The rest are going though. Here's that mystery object again. What could it be? It's about 20 to 5 in the evening now. I'm feeling pretty knackered. Mum and Dad have left. They've done lots of really helpful helping in the house. Izzy's having a break downstairs on the sofa. And I'm still feeling bewildered and overwhelmed, but um, let's just have a little break to show you what we've done. Look in here. Ta -da! It's empty apart from those couple of bits of clothing there. Look, there's no floorboards there. I thought I'd better leave them a little note just in case they put their feet through it. This is triggering off memories of when I moved in. This is when I very first came here. That was about 15, 16 years ago. I've been here a long time. I would move really quite a lot before I came here. This is the longest I've been in one place in my whole adult life and it's too long. Oh, mind you, that said, after this year, I never want to move again. There's just piles of ugh, everywhere. I can't give up the ghost yet though, I've got to keep ploughing on, so I think I'm going to go and make myself a coffee. I'll show you the state of downstairs now. Oh, it's worse than earlier! And then I'm going to bring it up, and I'm just, oh, I'm just going to focus one thing at a time, one thing at a time. I'm going to go from area to, of chaos to area of chaos and sort it all out, and hopefully it'll be very cathartic. Isabel has been community posting on our page today. But if you thought they were sillier than usual, that will be why. Right, so here's the sheep room, as it has now become known, because it's got sheep on the walls. See, from when Izzy was an infant. This is now full of stuff. <laughs> so I've been bringing it down from upstairs, you see. Dad's cling films over these drawers of Lego, so they can come out individually and not spill everywhere. What's behind here? Oh, nothing. Good. Those drawers are all empty, I believe. So the removal men are going to dismantle this cabin bed and Izzy's one and put them together the other side. This is uh, what Izzy's room is looking like at the moment. Oh, Dalek Khan. What's happened to you? H to me. Cause we'll havoc. <laughs> I'm not causing any havoc. Yes, you are. Young rap scallion. How's your packing going, Is? Yeah, I'm going to finish it now. You're going to get back on the case. Sadly. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I 
I'm mortified. I am absolutely mortified by how much stuff I have. You're all going to tell me off in the comments now, aren't you? Say, so, oh, Imogen, could you? There's me, looking worn out and withered. There's a few things left on the shelves, but these are things like um, electric screwdriver and cable ties and bits and bobs to help with the packing. Oh, and passports and things like that. I thought I'd pack them last somewhere. I won't lose them. Down we go. I should probably make a list for tomorrow. I haven't been making lists, I've just been doing. So, one pile of rubble, another big pile there, and more, <laughs> and more. <laughs> oh man, it's never ending. I'm never moving again. This is it. I'm never doing it again. It is now seven o'clock in the evening on the day before the day before we move. And I'm being very lazy indeed. Microwaved ready meals. She's having a meaty lasagna and I'm having a veggie lasagna. The front room's looking like this. I was starting to feel I was almost on the home straight and that tomorrow wouldn't be too bad. But then I remembered there's a load of stuff behind here. Oh, not too much though. And to be honest, I think some of it's stuff that will stay with the house, like spare laminate floor and trim. I am feeling pretty knackered, but after tea I probably will do, oh, till half nine or something like that maybe. Even though this has been hanging over our heads for a year, I only really had, really, four days notice, four days at home notice to get out. And, oh man, it's been a lot of work for mostly one person. IB's just been working and busy, he can't get here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but he's coming tomorrow and he's going to stay the night with us, the last night, and then he'll be here then for the move day. So I'm really reassured and pleased about that. Thanks for hanging out and sticking with us on this manic packing day. Oh, one more of those to go. <laughs> Don't forget to comment down any thoughts below, like the video if you liked it, and hit the subscribe button to follow our moving adventure. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!